Hi Libra, welcome to your May Love Tarot reading. So Libra, we're looking at whatever love energies we need to know right now, whatever needs to come out. So it's open to whatever you need to know. So please do keep that in mind. All right, Libra, May Love. So we got some opening messages with this deck. See what kind of energies we're dealing with. This is the Whispers of Healing. And then we'll jump into the Before Tarot. Do your spread with that. And at the end, we have the Sacred Traveler. We'll get some more messages with that as well. So Libra, if you find it any time it's not resonating, totally fine. You just leave it for someone else. You also can check out other readings on the channel. And also, all your April readings are listed below. So if you're new or you miss them, you can definitely check those out if you would like to. But welcome in, Libra. I hope you're all doing well staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in, welcome in, and thank you. My name is Mary, and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. So let's see what we got going on for you, Libra. May love. So we have well-being. 21, which is 3, which is growth and expansion. So just going to take all these out and see what we're dealing with here. Control, 10, which could be full circle, endings, new beginnings. 10 always goes back to 1. Hydrate, 33. Three is growth, expansion. You wouldn't reduce that. Building, rebuilding. And we have here barriers. 13, which is four. Fours are usually about stability foundation. So I'm kind of feeling like um, for some of you, you could have a connection with somebody. But right now, there's a block or barrier in the way. So it's telling you right now, instead of trying to control the situation, it's kind of like just concentrate on yourself, focus on yourself, you know, take care of yourself definitely with well-being and hydrate. So make sure you're really drinking enough water. I um, mean, you know, that's kind of an off-topic um, message, but that's kind of what I see. So you're getting enough rest, sleep, taking care of yourself, having time for yourself. Folk, I think right now is the time to focus on yourself because I do think there's a connection here, but there's a barrier or block or an obstacle in the way. That's kind of what I'm feeling. It doesn't mean uh, it's always going to be there. You know, it could be removed. We'll see, and we'll see what's going to happen here. All right, Libra, let's see. So let's see, we have the Before Tower. So we're going to pull about 12, 12 card spread, and then we're just going to read the whole spread, and then we'll clarify it. And then usually I even pull even more after that to give you more messages and then we'll pull the sacred traveler for more messages so it's a lot of cards today all right anyway libra all right yeah this is self energy here with the hermit this is definitely focusing on self definitely here all right let's see page of cups i do think there's a romantic interest here maybe there's been some flirting some romance some talk going on yeah, that, yeah, two of cups. So there is a connection here. Maybe you haven't completely come together with this person. So maybe something's preventing the two of you at this time to come together. Um, High Priestess. Maybe there's even lack of communication or contact right now. Or there's a lot of things that we do not know regarding maybe their situation or whatever the case may be. Judgment here. So, you know... This is life review, relationship review, healing, forgiving, releasing what needs to be released, making way for new, call to action, judgment call from, you know, somebody needs to make a decision or the universe is making a decision as well. Our judgment could be coming in. King of Swords. Sometimes I can indicate divorce. So maybe somebody here is going through a divorce. And it could be for some of you, you're... It's like you don't want to lose touch with this person, so you may be constantly talking to them, contacting them, like, hey, don't forget me. Not really saying that, but, you know, when you divorce, hey, I'm still here, and I know we kind of have this connection. I don't want to lose it, and I don't want you to forget about me. You know, you, you don't want to get lost in the shuffle, I feel, of whatever's going on with them. King of Pentacles. Definitely, <laughs> okay, we got two kings here. This king of swords could be you, Libra. For me, it's Gemini, but it could be you, male or female. It doesn't matter. Empress. Definitely knowing value and worth here. You definitely feel like you are this person's divine counterpart. You definitely know and see your worth and what the connection is worth and what it means and what you want. The full, fresh, clean slate, fresh start, jumping all in, no baggage. Seven of Swords. Now, the Seven of Swords doesn't always have to mean lying, cheating, stealing. It can mean strategy, running out of fear, avoidance. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. 
and the Ten of Cups reverse. Definitely does not feel happy right now, especially if you're like, well, I don't know what's going to happen. What if they forget about me and the shuffle of everything going on for, for them? Um, so it does not feel happy right now. And the Seven of Pentacles in reverse could be the end of the stalemate, but I also feel like you want that energy to end of things being kind of stuck right now, not knowing what's going to happen on the other side of it. There is a fresh, clean slate start here. Energetic reset, jumping all in, new beginning, no baggage. So this King of Pentacles can indicate somebody who is in some sort of other commitment or marriage or something like that. But the King of Swords can be somebody who is either like widowed, divorced or something like that. So, like I said, the Hermit is about focusing on oneself. It's an inward journey as well. But the Page of Cups, you know, and there's the romance and the love there with the Two of Cups, the Page of Cups. But right now, I think it's the time to kind of keep to oneself with that High Priestess too and the Hermit. And just trust that intuition, everything's going to work out as it should be. It's kind of what I'm feeling here. It may be time to, uh, I'm kind of feeling with the Seven of Swords, kind of avoid, avoid the situation right now with this person. It's just kind of keep to yourself right now and just trust you know, just trust everything's going to work out. We're going to pull more. We're going to pull even more. We'll look at the bottom of the deck too. So we do have Virgo, Pisces, Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, Scorpio, Aquarius. Got a lot of energy here. Five of Swords could be the end of conflict, end of a challenging time, end of maybe someone feeling defeated. Definitely Page of Swords could be there's been no contact or communication for quite a long time. But somebody's getting over sadness, loss, grief, or sorrow. Definitely uh, coming out of that energy. And the King of Wands is usually goes after what they want. Now, we have three kings here. All four kings would be the Emperor, and we already have the Empress, which would be Divine Counterparts. For some of you, this could be same-sex, so, you know, take it out, it resonates. Um, but King of Wands, you know, goes after what they want. You know, strong, courageous, brave, go-getter. They accomplish what they set out to accomplish. We do kind of have a single energy here. Nine of Cups is always kind of single for me because this person is alone in this cup, in this cup, <laughs> in this uh, deck, and fulfilling their own wishes, um, their own happiness, joy, being single, carefree, doing as they please. Not in a bad way. Definitely someone's moving on here. Six of Swords. All right. Um, completion, new beginnings, the world. We do have a couple there. And uh, that also could be moving, traveling, or distance. So there could be some distance at play here. I also just to see the Three of Pentacles, so maybe you did work with this person at one time. It doesn't have to be, though. That can also indicate here with the uh, King of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, maybe they were a boss at one time or manager or something. If you did work with this person at one time, if that doesn't resonate totally, you can just leave it. All right. All right, Libra. So let's get a little bit more here and see what else we need to know. Let's see. Strength. Definitely this is about overcoming. Strong connection cannot be denied. Being strong, courageous, and brave. Ace of Pentacles. Solid new beginning. The new beginning is here, Libra. It's here. Someone is definitely moving on from something. Or that could be maybe there's a little bit of distance at play here. Um, but we do have the strong connection here with the lovers as well. Wow. Strong connection, strength, and lovers. That's also choice, but it's also that soul connection. Eight of Cups, again, distance, traveling, moving, or someone definitely has moved away from something. Chariot could, in reverse could be the return of somebody if there's been distance. And there's that stuck feeling too, but I also feel a return of somebody. So we do have here Leo, Gemini, Cancer. Let's see what's on the bottom. I feel like someone's been praying for this. Seven of Wands can be the block, the obstacle, um, as we do have barrier there. Maybe a little defensiveness, maybe for some, look, peeked out here as the Emperor. I'm telling you, this connection is meant to happen here. We have the Emperor and the Empress. Two of Wands in reverse is choosing a path and going down that path, a new path. So you may not see it, you may not know it, but I feel like somebody here has chosen a path. Got the Emperor here, someone released a burden uh, heavy obstacle here and what's after that ten of wands is the ace of wands new beginning and there's a queen of wands which where was the king i think it was on the bottom of the deck uh just a bit ago there's the match and something could be happening right now at the tower as well just saying just saying 
Okay. There's a hot, fiery match here because we did see the King, Queen of Wands. So a lot of attraction, passion, chemistry uh, kind of energy. All right. Libra. Let's see what else do we need to know for Libra. What else do we need to know for Libra? If this resonating so far, please do drop a like, comment, let me know how it resonates. All the good things, we greatly appreciate it. All right, let's see. Seven of Cups. So there's a lot of blind energy here, uncertainty, a uh, lot going on. Four of Wands. About either commitment, marriage, or traveling, moving, relocating. Six of Pentacles. Definitely feeling things were... Things do not feel they're being reciprocated right now. I'm definitely feeling that for you, Libra. But everything's going to work as it, out as it should be. Because the strength is going to overcome the obstacle, the barrier here. Strength overcomes anything. So yeah, you may feel like confused. Seven of Cups here. Unbalanced. Unsure. Unsteady. Just focus on yourself right now. And know that new beginning. Ace of Pentacles. That's right here. So we've got Cancer showing up. I think I said that. All right. Let's, um, Tower could be happening like right now. Anytime now. Awakening. Epiphany. Aha moment. Shock. Change. Revelations. Surprise. Could be surprise communication. That's uh, just waiting to come in here. Good news. Four of Pentacles. Again, there's been a lot of uh, holding back. Resistance. Been a long time coming too with the Knight of Pentacles. Definitely feeling that. Again, feeling like things are just up in the air, but then the Knight of Wands goes after what they want and they make it happen as well. Hmm. All right, Libra. So let's pull you um, <clears throat> a little bit more, see what else you need to know. And then we're going to jump into the Sacred Traveler and see what else you need to know. All right, Gem uh, Gemini, <laughs> Libra. Libra, let's see. If I called you any other sign, I'm sorry. This is Libra. I may have. I don't know. I don't remember. It happens. Okay, let's see. Libra. Eight of Swords. So definitely there's that challenge, that block, that stuck energy. But that new beginning, uh, exciting new beginning is at hand. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Justice. There you are, Libra. Truth, clarity, justice, balance, getting what we deserve, universal law and order, soul contracts, past life, things meant to be, healing, balance. Could be marriage or divorce, so definitely uncertain. You could, you may not even know, like if this person is completely divorced yet with that Four of Cups. But I feel like communication is coming very, very soon. Good news. Yeah, happening anytime, anytime. I feel you're going to hear it anytime, any, any time here. And you've been thinking a lot about this, and I think they've been thinking a lot about you. There's been a lot of non-action. But like I said, someone had fighting a battle here, definitely. But now in a better energy here with the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy. And there could be some romance coming in, courting, dating, getting to know romantic gestures that you may not see coming. I'm just saying. And I just saw the moon. That could be that same energy. So Libra, we have you here. We also have Aries and Sagittarius. We're in Taurus season right now. Um... The Empress is Libra Taurus, but the Tower also can indicate any time now, even like right now. All right, let's get you some Sacred Traveler. Libra, see what else you need to know. Also, Libra, I do have a website. Link is below. You can find everything you need to know there. My um, socials are there. My merch. Also, um, my store and my wish list. And if you want to tip, donate, anything like that, you could do that there. All right. If you do, thank you, thank you. All right, Libra. All right, I got a bug on the window, and I don't know if it's in or out. My window's open. Okay, I think it's outside. Anyway, Libra. Discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. So, I think you've got some truth coming in here, Libra. What else? View from above. Get the big picture. Definitely, there could be some distance here. Maybe you're not, you know, you don't know the whole scenario, but I think the truth is coming in soon and you're going to find out a lot. Stepping into power, you are strong beyond measure. So someone definitely right there, the strength card is stepping into their power. That definitely gives me the hermit and strength together and we have them right here because we have the lantern. So, wow. 
wise leader. You are a beacon for others. So maybe, you know, you've been a beacon of light for this person. Um, or maybe somebody here is actually a leader in some way, shape, or form. Navigating by the stars. Follow your bliss. So, yeah. Wish fulfillment, happiness, joy. Um, the star definitely is that energy. And we had it with the Nine of Cups as well. So they're following their bliss, and that's leading right to you, Libra. Definitely. All right, Libra, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonate. Again, everything you need to know is down below. I am wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.